Okay, yes, hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another YouTube analytics video. Yes, we are gonna be taking a look inside my analytics, taking a look at how many views I've been getting, how many new subscribers I've been getting, and probably the most important, most interesting to many of you guys, how much money have I been earning? Now, I know I did one of these videos a few months ago, talking about how much money I made from a 1 million view video, but we don't always make 1 million views on this channel. In fact, I've only ever done it once. So what I'm gonna be doing is taking a more general look around my analytics, allowing you in to see behind the curtain, so to speak. First of all, before we get into my YouTube studio and take a look at how much money I've made, let me quickly refresh you on how I actually make money. When you watch one of my YouTube videos, an ad will pop up at the start. Uh, it will give you the option to skip that ad. If you skip that ad after the first five seconds, I get zero money from that ad. No! If you watch 30 seconds or more of the ad, then I will get what's called a monetized view. And I will make some money according to how much the advertiser has paid YouTube. If the ad is less than 30 seconds, sometimes you'll see six, seven, eight second ads that you cannot skip, then that will also be a monetized view. I'll make money from that. And as well as those video ads, you will sometimes see banner ads along the bottom of the video or in the corner of your YouTube screen if you're watching on a computer. All of these contribute to what's called my Google AdSense and AdSense revenue is what I'm gonna be focusing on today. I do have some other ways of making money. Patreon, for example, which I'll come to at the end of the video if you're more interested in that. But like I say, what we're focused on today is Google AdSense revenue generated by the ads that you lovely, lovely people watch before you watch my videos. First thing we need to do is get into YouTube. I'm gonna do my usual thing and slide all the way down here into the corner where we can see my YouTube homepage. This homepage is exactly the same as what you would see, but if I just go to this secret button here, go into my YouTube studio, now you can see what's called my channel dashboard. I've covered most of this in my previous video. If you haven't already seen that one, feel free to go check it out up here. But what I really wanna do is take a look specifically at the month of June, the last full month for which I have figures for. So in order to do that, I'm gonna go into my analytics here. I'm gonna click on June and boom. There you have my results for June in full honesty. I'm not hiding anything from you. Take a look, have a look around, see what you can see, anything that interests you. Anything that pops up in this video that you're not sure about, please uh, leave a comment down below and maybe in the future I can address it. So what can we see on my June analytics? The big headline title in June, people watched your videos 418,192 times. Now for me, that's a really good month. Usually I'll get about 300 to 400,000 views. So to go over 400,000 is great for me. I added 4.6 thousand subscribers. Again, really good. Uh, usually I'm between sort of three and five and the money, $761.91. Of course, that's US dollars. So by my math, that's about... $22,000 Taiwan dollars for a month of hard work, and slog and sweat, where I used to work in a bushy band for four hours a day, chatting with kids and having fun and eating candy and earn maybe $70,000 a month. So full-time YouTube is taking its toll on me, but uh, I'm much happier and much more free doing this. Anyway, that's not the point. What we'll do is we'll stay in June and we'll take a look down here, my top videos in June. Now, super interestingly, the video that performed best in June was actually not made in June. It was made on the 18th of March, 2020. So three months earlier, and it still got the most views of all of the other videos that I put out that month. In fact, of my top 10 performing videos in June, four were not from June. They were just really successful videos from previous months. So there you can see my top 10 performing videos for June. Feel free, leave a comment down below. Which one was your favorite? Have you watched them all? Which one didn't you watch? Which one did you enjoy, not enjoy? Whatever you wanna say about my videos, I'm willing to listen. But let's go into the number one performing video for June and let's see how much it earned me in June. Uh, this number one video for June was my family drinking Taiwanese booze. Oh, it's, it's fierce. 
nearly sent me off. And this is a video that I made in March, but it's still getting me 110 US dollars per month. That's about $3,300 or something like that. So this is where YouTubers can actually make a lot of money consistently without actually doing anything, if that makes any sense. Once you've done the work, if a video does really, really well, then it continues to do well and line your pockets um, for several months or even years after it's been published. Really happy with that video. Uh, I have to say, copied uh, Koo's style in that video. So thanks to Koo for the inspiration. I think they say something like, mimicry is the highest form of flattery. Right, let's go back to the summary for June because there's one more uh, analytic or demographic that I really focus on, and this is my audience. And I really wanna see where people are watching my videos. So if we go down here to the top countries, still 85% of my views are coming from Taiwan. And then the next biggest country, is America with 4.3%, Hong Kong, Canada, Australia, and 0.8% come from England, 3,248 views. Probably every single one of those views comes from my mum, so thanks mum. Another thing that you might find interesting, which is a new statistic YouTube have been giving us, is when your viewers are on YouTube. So you can see here, seven days of the week, the different colors represent how busy my channel is. So you can see from this graph that the darker purple means that there are more of my viewers on YouTube ready to watch my videos. So I think it makes sense for a new video to be online at that time. So that's why you'll tend to find a lot of YouTubers who release their videos maybe 6 p.m., sometimes 9 p.m. What I like to do is put it on at 6 p.m., give it a chance to build up a little bit of momentum, and then by 6, 7, eight, nine o'clock, very many of my viewers are on YouTube and then hopefully they can pick up more views. I'm gonna maybe try start releasing Sunday morning a little bit more often. Sunday is more populated throughout the whole day. So there's less chance of a video taking a dip. So if you see a new video come from me on a Sunday morning, then now you know why. So yes, that is just a quick brief overview of some of the things I wanted to share with you from my analytics in June. If you've enjoyed this kind of video, then please hit the like button. Let me know that you like it so I can make more in future. I'm happy to sit here once a month maybe and go through it with you guys, be completely transparent and honest. As I mentioned at the start of the video, I do have a Patreon for people who really wanna support me uh, financially. I never really mentioned it in my other videos. I don't wanna force it down people's throat, but as we're talking about money, I thought I'd mention it. I'm gonna put a link up in the corner. There are benefits to supporting me on Patreon. I'm not just expecting you to give me money as a charity. In fact, I'm just sending out uh, postcards. This one is for Eason one of my Patreons, and I've had uh, Life in Taiwan VIP cards, uh, easy cards, yo-yo cards made. So I do use that money to put back in to the channel and into my Patreon. So if you wanna pick up one of these bad boys, go check out my Patreon. I'm sending them out to all Team VVVIP Deluxe members. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. There is one more thing. I'm gonna take you on a journey after the credits finish, because today is the 22nd, of July, I can now go to pick up my Google AdSense revenue. So I'm gonna show you that at the end of the credits, uh, just as a little bit of a bonus. But yes, if you hang around for that, then I'll see you on the other side of the credits. But if not, then this is goodbye. Thanks so much for watching. As for now, and as always, I'll see you next time in my life in Peace. Okay, welcome back. Thanks for hanging around. Let's get on the scooter, get to the bank, pick up that lovely jubbly money. AdSense revenue, $22,000, as I predicted, in my hand, directly from Google. And I think I forgot to mention at the start of the video that 
This is just half of the money or 40, 55% of the money that the video actually earned. Don't forget Google, I've already taken their 45% from me before they send me my ad revenue. But anyway, that's the end of the video. Thanks for staying to the very end. Cannot say how much I appreciate it. I hope you've enjoyed this video, seeing the process, seeing how the money actually comes to me. And to be honest, uh, 80% of this is going to go straight to South Africa to pay for Williams schools. So thank you so much, guys. Uh, maybe some other YouTubers would like to do the same thing. I've not seen any of my foreign YouTube friends discussing this on their channels. So if you follow any other foreign YouTubers, then please uh, send them a message, encourage them to be a bit more honest and transparent. I'd love to see it. But I think that's enough for this video. Thanks again, guys. Really appreciate your support. As for as always, I'll see you next time in my life in Taiwan. Bye!